Hi everybody, welcome back to this uh, STM32 F1 example. We are going through the NRF2401 uh, library and we are having a quick review and then see an example. This example is inspired of the STM32 F1 tutorial where we created from scratch the NRF24 library. So if you are interested to know more, I shared the link in the description below. As usual, the code that we are going to share through this example is available in GitHub. You can find the link in the description below. The language that we are going to use is only C and the program that we are going to use for the C for programming, building and loading in the microcontroller is Kale. Finally, we are going to use HTERM as the, the program to interface for UART communication on the PC, PC level. Okay, so the hardware that we are going to use, obviously we are going to use the STM32F1 aka Blue Pill and we are going to use two. We are also going to use the FT232 and this device is used to make the interface for the UART communication between the STM32F1 and the PC and also we are going to use here the NRF24 which is the um, radio frequency communication device. Also we will have a small um, other hardware for our example one push button one uh, capacity for of 100 ohm and one led a red led okay so for the uh, connection perspective what we are going through so this is the picture you can see the picture of the nrf24 we are going to connect the ce pin to the pa0 or port a uh, pin number zero cen to pa4 the s clock or the clock um, pin will be connected to the pa5 mosi and miso will be connected to the pa7 and 6 the Please do not connect the IRQ in this example as it will use uh, a non-interrupt uh, approach and finally the VD and the ground uh, will be connected to 3.3 to volt of the STM32 F1 and the ground. Just to, to mark yourself you can see that the ground pin is within a small white array. You can look at that to mark and to position your uh, NRF. Great, so let's quickly take a look at our testing example. Um, so first we will have the, our primary uh, transmitter. So the, we will have the STM32 F1 connected to a push button and also the NRF24. Or the NRF24. And then we will have the primary receiver which will be connected to the, um, uh, the NRF will be connected to the STM32 F1 which will have connection in series of the capacity and the LED. So each time we will go to trigger and uh, push the uh, PB0 with uh, the push button, we will send a message to the, um, the primary receiver and then the primary receiver when it will receive the message the LED will be toggle and the message that will be sent from the primary transmitter will be sent to the PC using the UART and we can debug and see what's happening. Also, the primary transmitter will be also connected to the PC and this is to, to have a kind of a debugging message where we will have um, a, um, a send a successful or send failed. Okay, so now we have taken a look to the quick example. We can go and start taking a look to the code. Yeah, this is our here combination. And just before we start, if you enjoy this content, just subscribe. So this is our circuit here and you can see that we can have like the, we have the NRF. Let me make it bigger first. So this is our NRF for the receiver. This is sorry. This is the sender and this is the receiver and they are connected to the STM32 F1 respectively. And you can see here, this is the push button that we are going to use and to um, trigger the sending the message from this primary um, um, transmitter and here the LED um, that's the one that we are going to see blinking each time we are going to receive a message and um, as you can see also here we do have this 
uh, small communication devices, the RS-232, uh, and all of them are connected to the computer. And this one here, this one and this one, are connected to this edge term. So the COM7 is the one connected with the transmitter, where the COM3 is connected to the receiver. Okay, so let's jump quickly to the code and take a quick look at it. So first of all, we do have all these libraries um, ready to be used for this code. Some of them are going to be used for uh, the um, you are for the NRF library and other directly in our program. So also you can see the pin connections I put. So for this program, we are going to use SPI1. But in case if you are like you would like to use SPI2, this is the pins that you have to select. Finally, so the um, we're going to use UART2 in both um, in both STM32F1 for the UART communication, and so the PA2 is connected TX and PA3 to RX. And so um, we are going to add one char called payload, which is 32 byte as a maximum size, as our function right now doesn't send m m bigger than the NRF uh, actual load, which is 32 byte. Okay, so for the initialization, we will have a common initialization, which is the cystic init or the one that will create the delays, the UART init, that's the one that will send the data to both uh, the HTM, and finally, we are going to um, initiate the NRF, and we are going to use SPI1, and finally, the mode that we are going to use is a mode 0. Mode 0 is the mode where we are not going to use the IRQ pin. Okay, so you can see here there is both programs, so let me close this one first. So there is a program when we are going to use the PTX and the program when they are, we are going to use the PRX, first for the initialization and then for the uh, main loop. Okay, so let's start um, a, a debugging and not debugging actually, um, and comment the one related to PTX. So let's uncomment the first part, which is the uh, we are going to put digital input for PB1. PB1 is the pin that we do have here, and this is the connected to the push button. And that's all. That's what we need for the initialization. And then if we take a look to the sending code, so first we are going to check. So if reading GP for PB0, sorry, it's a PB0, not PB1. So if we have any reading here, what we are going to send, so sending the NRF send, hey, will. And this function, the NRF send, let me in command. So this is the function that sends the, the message. However, it's also a message, a function that you turn um, a one or zero. It returns one if the message is successful and returns zero if the message sent fail. And after that, we put a delay 10 and this is just to smooth the NRF, uh, the NRF function. So let me comment again, comment also this one. And let's go through the um, peer, um, the primary receiver mode. So if we remove this, so first of all, we are going to set PB1 as an output, and this is connected to the pin. So if we look here, so this is the pin here. And also we are set setting up the pin high at the beginning. So when we just to check to have an indicator that the program was running well, and also we have to run, so we run the NRF in it, and also we have to run the NRF primary receiver in it, because the receiving mode takes a little bit more time and have a special setup, so we need to run it. Okay, let's close the PRA, PTX and go to the PRX quickly. So for the PRX here in the main loop is really simple, really, really simple here. So let's take a look at this. And you can see here. So first of all, if NRF message check. So this measures this function will just check if we receive the message. And if we receive the message using the SPI one here, we are going to read the message, send the message through the AUART communication, and finally toggle the PB one. That's quite very simple and straightforward. So let's start making this code and better to start first loading 
the UART for the primary receiver so when we have the setup for primary transmitter the receiver is ready so as you can see we do have only one program to to um, STM 32F1 so to do that you have to go so careful about this one always put it 8 you have to go to, to go to debug setting and here you can set up your uh, device so usually so I'm not clear which one is the connected but you can just let let me just try this one the uh, 11987 let's put ok and save build ok zero error zero warning and if I run here so this one is connected to the primary transmitter and you can see here my LED start getting on so it's quite good so let's go back again now we have to comment everything related to the PTX uh, PRX sorry and and comment the PTX or the primary transmitter just go to oh no this is primary receiver again so let's close it and sending message and comment this part okay let's save build okay no error let's change the target that we are going to use so this time we are going to select sorry not this one the one ending by 0187 one and let's save build again just in case okay so now we do have the uh, program run so I will start pushing this button but let's at the same time take a look at the UART communication and see what's happening so you can see here I have the primary uh, transmitter sending me message sent successfully and the primary receiver receiving hey wheel and you can see the it's quite fast it's quite very fast I will try to because when I push the program keep reading and toggling so you can see now it's happening so I toggle it's toggling quite very fast unfortunately even I darken the room but it's yeah you can see it I try to to do it as quickly as possible but there is many sending at the same time so this application is really good if you are um, having a control of a kind of a drone or um, a, a kind of small RC car so you can see this is a very simple program and let me go back to the code again so it's a few lines really few lines where you can have um, a quite good code sending the data thank you a lot and see you soon bye